Cholesterol is a substance that's naturally made by the liver. Um, it helps produce vitamin D, hormones, and cell walls. So our, essentially our body naturally makes the cholesterol that we need. So when we eat excess cholesterol, it needs to go somewhere. We have carriers in our body called LDL, which is also called bad cholesterol, and HDL, good cholesterol. They act like delivery trucks, bringing the cholesterol where it needs to go. So the LDL, the bad cholesterol, tends to bring the cholesterol to blood vessels. So that's increasing your risk for heart disease and stroke. And the HDL, the good cholesterol, is bringing it away from the blood vessels and back to the liver to be reproduced and essentially bringing it away from the heart and decreasing your risk for heart disease. When you have a screening cholesterol done, you will get a breakdown of numbers. There'll be four th parts of it, total cholesterol, HDL, LDL, and triglycerides. Your total cholesterol, you want to be less than 200. Um, you want your LDL to be less than 100. You want your HDL to be greater than 40, and your triglycerides to be less than 150. So when you look at the numbers, the LDL and triglycerides, those are the ones that are directly linked to increased risk of heart disease um, and stroke. And your HDL is the one that you want to be higher. You want it to be greater than 40 because that decreases your risk for heart disease. Overall, a healthy lifestyle will help you control your cholesterol and decrease your cholesterol. There are certain things that you can control. Number one, your diet. You need to decrease trans fats and saturated fats. That includes fried foods, red meats, butters. You need to increase fresh vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Also, increase omega-3 fatty acids in your diet because that directly increases HDL. Number two, exercise. Uh, increasing exercise will help increase your HDL, which is also cardioprotective. Number three, stop smoking. Um, smoking is directly linked to increased LDL and decreased HDL. So the increased LDL and decreased HDL increases your risk for heart disease. The things that you cannot control are number one, age. With age, your cholesterol will increase. And number two, genetics. Um, if you do have a strong family history of heart disease and high cholesterol, then you may also have the same. I recommend screening cholesterol for men over 35 every five years and women over 45 every five years. Now, between the ages of 20 and 35 for men and 20 and 45 for women, it depends on your risk factors. Your doctor may recommend having it done sooner if you do have high risk factors and more often. Routinely, we do every five years, but if your cholesterol is elevated the last time it was checked, your doctor will recommend having it done more often. Now, the risk factors include diabetes, hypertension, obesity, um, smoking, and strong family history of heart disease or high cholesterol. So if you do have those things, your doctor will recommend earlier screening and more often.